What's up all you kicking chickens? It's your favorite chicken cosplayer farmer here. We back on the big chicken little ranch. And today we're talking about the number one reason why nobody wants to raise chickens in their backyard. And I'll be perfectly honest with you, it's gonna get gross. Flies. Flies have been a pest to humanity for thousands of years. As far back as written history really goes, we have records of flies. In fact, some of the ancient Greek philosophers used to think flies simply sprouted from the dirt. That given enough time, a pile of dirt could father hundreds if not thousands of flies. While we now know that there's a little bit more nuance to how flies spawn, ooh, there we go. It's still a problem that we have to deal with. Even if you don't raise animals, you're probably gonna have flies in your house. And there's only one solution when you have a lot of flies in your house. Oh, I'm sorry, did I trigger you by suggesting using a gun to solve my problems? Well, I'm an American. Haven't you learned we solve all of our problems with guns? No, but seriously, folks, there are a couple of things you can do to help prevent flies on your homestead. The number one thing that I would suggest is if you are into food scraps, you need to get something to cover your food scraps with. Ta -da! You really want to make sure that you're preventing them from any access to what they could consider food or water. So tip number one, restrict their access to food. Make sure that if you have any food scraps around your house that you're waiting to give to your animals, you're preventing the flies from getting inside of them because that's nasty. The second thing you can do to help cut down on all the fly problems in your farmstead is to make sure that you're putting bait and stations out. That right there is a bunch of dead flies. Well, not that one, that one's alive. Yes, that is all flies. Look at all these little flies flying up there at the top. And these flies are no longer flying. These flies are no longer flying. That's why they're called grounds. You take the bag, you shake it, shake it, shake it. I have two of these on my property. I have this one here. This is over by our kind of hangout area. This is where my barbecue pit is. This is usually where we like to chill during the afternoons. And then I have one over there by the chicken coop. These things get filled with flies. Now I've used the stink traps before and while they work really well, they smell horrible. Like they just smell putrid. It's it's a, the rankest, nastiest smell I could ever imagine. And I do not want that around my house. A very simple design. There's a little tray down here where you put your bait. I just like to use fermented chicken feed, but you can use old nasty food scraps, bones from bone broth, or just straight up chicken shit because that works well too. Then they land in the tray, they eat, num 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 num, num then they fly up through this cone. The cone has a hole at the top and they get stuck inside the greater net. Now when you're all done with this, you can just cut that thing open and bam, you got some chicken treats. The final step in this pest control process is making sure you create an inhospitable environment everywhere you don't want your pests. I like to take this little spray can right here, you hook it up to your hose, I'll fill it up with some peppermint oil, some neem oil, and if the mosquitoes are getting really bad, I'll do permethrin too. I cannot emphasize this enough. Do not spray your garden with this stuff. It will kill all of the pollinators. It'll kill all of the beneficial pests. You can even spray it on the inside. I use it on my windowsills, wherever the flies like to congregate. And you know what happens? They go to the window because they think it's the sunlight. They sit there on the poison and it kills them. It's pretty simple. Then all you gotta do is just come by with the vacuum. Oh, missed one. Wow, I'm really bad at this. I'm glad my wife does the vacuuming because I am not good at it. Look at all these dead flies. See guys, you just spray it on your windowsill, you spray it on the windows wherever they congregate and it will kill them. There you have it, folks. If you guys are having a fly problem in your backyard, there's a couple simple steps you can take. You gotta control their food, you gotta bait them, and then you gotta make everywhere that's not the trap inhospitable. That way they go straight to it. Whether you guys are using fly tape, stink traps, or these reusable traps that I have, it doesn't matter what you're using as long as you can draw them to that trap. That's the best thing you can do. And of course, if none of that works, there's always violence. Alrighty, folks. Well, I appreciate you stopping by. Hopefully, you learned something new today. If you guys like this more informative style of video, please drop a like, give me a comment, hit me up with a subscribe. I'd really appreciate all of those little uh, the buttons that you could click to make like the YouTube stuff do things, so I can get paid for this. 
leave a like, drop a comment, hit the subscribe button, the bell icon, all of those things. Go check out my Facebook page. And if we can get up to a thousand subscribers by the end of this summer, then we're going to do a real, real fun giveaway, folks. All right. Well, I appreciate you stopping by. And until next time. <gasps> <clears throat>